All right, everybody. This is Nash here, and today there was some news dropped, and it has some potential impact for the Texas Longhorns and Oklahoma Sooners leaving to the SEC before 2025. I don't think 2023 is even on the table. 2024 makes a lot of sense, but I'm not going to waste too much time with this. Let's get into the video. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment of what you think about the Longhorns and the Sooners moving to the SEC early, and I will be putting all the articles and all the tweets of things that everything that I'm putting in here that you see on the screen, it will be linked down below. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. And you have Pete Thamel was dropping Big 12 and its TV partners, Fox and ESPN, have agreed to enter early contract discussions about the league's next, te next television deal. The conversations will begin soon and come a year and a half before the contract's exclusive negotiation window. So Pete Thamel, he's been dropping a lot of this OU and Texas stuff. He's been one of the lead guys on having a breaking news when it comes to this uh, topic. And this is 7.15 a.m. Nobody was expecting it. And it was followed with this from the Big 12. They put out an official announcement. The Big 12 Conference announces it will be entering contact, uh, contract discussions with its multimedia partners to explore an accelerated extension of its current agreements. And this is, I mean, it, so it's all good and all that, but people were, okay, well, what? Why do why do we as Texas fans or why do even Oklahoma fans why should we care? Well, the SEC and their current deal of fifty five dollar fifty five million dollars a year from CBS to broadcast their games is increasing nearly sixfold to three hundred million a year at ESPN with the current deal with their current revenue they made about seven hundred million dollars. Each SEC team got $55 million this last year. At the current contract, we would not be able to get any media benefits until 2025. So that's a big reason why Texas hasn't, why there hasn't really been any, you know, movement or cooler heads have prevailed saying, hey, you know, we really don't want to, we're not going to benefit as much financially as well as we got to pay until 20, until after 2025. Now, with these proceedings going underway, this does enter the possibility of a possible exit for Texas and Oklahoma. But a couple of things would have to happen before that gets to that point. One, Fox would have to get paid. And as this article states... Their valuation is based on Oklahoma and Texas being in the Big 12 for the next three years. And then two, the grant of rights would need to be uh, negotiate, renegotiated. Because if we were to leave right now, well, which we can, the Big 12 would just still have broadcasting rights for the Texas Longhorns and Oklahoma Sooners. If we were to leave before the terms of a media rights deal. So basically things are this is this is the first snowball that we want to see for us to move to the SEC. And I really want to get there because these games they should be really fun. I mean, you're when you're talking about like opponents like LSU, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, Arkansas, they, they hate us. That it, These environments, they're fun. These are the football environments that we want. And hopefully it kind of, you know, it, it does match us. We're, we're a big school. We like the tradition, the pageantry of college football. Well, here it is. Oh, I'm not going to waste too much of y'all's time on this. It's not a super long video, but... There's a possibility that Texas and Oklahoma are headed to the SEC maybe as soon as 2024. I wouldn't say 2023, but I'll catch y'all guys later. We're just a couple days away from Texas Longhorn football. All right.
ஹோக்கும்